Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new here, please do hit like and subscribe. Um, this is a Virgo channel only, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. If you want to get a personal message or a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. So just go ahead and click on that link. That'll take you to my booking site. Um, yeah, so Virgo, how you guys doing? Um, is this not the best Virgo channel there is? Um, hello everyone in the chat. All right, Virgo. So I'm going to start with a couple of, um, well, I have a new deck here. This is called, let me show you. Madame and Dora's fortune cards. Okay. I just got this today. So I thought we'd, um, play the energy out and see what comes up here. Um, another <laughs> link I'm going to have to add underneath the video, but let's start your reading off here, Virgo. This is going to be a love reading from the time you listen to this going through the month of May. And I'm here every night, 10 30 PM Eastern, um, or at least try to be. So you can always catch me at that time. All right, let's see, Virgo, let's get into your reading. What's going on? What is going on today for Virgo? Virgo sun, moon. Okay. Well, holy moly. Three cards, three, wow. Interesting, water, fire, and air. Okay. <laughs> so winds of change. You have the winds of change are here. Your surroundings will undergo some type of transition. You also have water, emotions are at their peak, and you have fire, reckless actions lead to conflict. What, okay, you could be, all right, so somebody could have, um, you could have water, fire, or air in your chart, or you could be dealing with someone of one of those zodiac signs. But let me see what else is going on here with this. Your surroundings, something in your life um, external to you, your surroundings are undergoing some kind of transition or change. This feels like big changes, endings, either time to move on or your rebirthing or transformation is coming your way. It's like time. Your emotions may feel like whew, really high, okay? Um, but be careful of reckless actions, okay? Be careful of reckless actions. Let me see what else is going on here. Okay, we've got the spider. Be meticulous and patient. So, Virgo, there's definitely some changes going on here. Um, coming up in the month of May from this, maybe you might even be experiencing this right now. All right. Um, hmm. I feel like you got to be patient. Whatever you're changing in your life, whatever's occur occurring externally to you, I feel like you got to go with the flow. That's why water here, uh, you're going to be feeling like your emotions are running high and uh, so that you don't make any wrong moves. Try not to get into like any kind of recklessness when these changes, these transitions are happening. Um, you're being asked here because if you're reckless, if you're not meticulous and patient with whatever's changing, okay, um, there could be some conflict. All right, what? So I want to know what is this? Your surroundings, what is changing? Okay, oh, wow. The wyvern, your secrets are safe. Hmm. You're not saying something. There's something you're not telling. You're keeping something hidden. This transition, this change. So it's careful planning is what I hear. You need to be very careful. But I feel like you're keeping something to yourself. This change, this transition that you're going through. You're not telling anybody, or at least you won't be. Okay, got the maiden. So a new relationship blossoms. So Virgo, <laughs> obviously you've got a situation that's evolving here in your love life, okay? Either you've met somebody or you're going to meet somebody or there's someone that you're connecting with where things are going to start changing uh, pretty quickly, okay? Um, it's in to do with a new relationship blossoming, okay? There's something coming in May that's just going to sweep you off your feet. 
And I, so like I said, it could be with an air sign, a water sign, or a fire sign. Um, and I think that you're going to feel like very excited. You're, like I said, emotional and excited about this, maybe about this person or this situation. And I feel like it's going to feel like fire, right? You're going to feel like you're on fire, a lot of passion. Um, be very, uh, I'm just hearing, be very careful that you, that you don't blow the whole thing up too quickly. Don't blow it up. Be meticulous and be very patient. Let things just kind of play out. Somebody that you could be meeting here could be somebody who has blonde hair um, or they have light colored hair, or light colored skin. It could be for some or that's you. Okay, so you could be meeting somebody or there could be some type of connection um, that's happening here where you're not going to want to tell anybody about this. You're keeping that under wraps, okay? I love these cards. These are amazing. So let's just put those right there and let me get some island time messages for you. This is crazy, Virgo. Okay, let's see. What other messages are here for Virgo? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Can we get a little more information on this relationship that's blossoming for Virgo? Okay. Oh my gosh, ascension. Transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So something magical is happening here in your love life there's ascension there's something changing here again look at this this person is like floating away on these balloons you know lifting up emotions at their peak feeling high sorry for the blur i'll fix that in a sec let's see what else the message is here for you oh my gosh the dragonfly so be lighthearted. finding out things are coming to light adapt change and heal Okay, major changes are happening here, big time. <laughs> okay, a mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend. Listen, Virgo, you are, you're not saying anything. I don't see you saying anything. I, I feel like you're going to be tiptoeing with this situation. Um, if this is someone from your past returning and overcoming some obstacles, in a relationship but going very slow being meticulous and very patient not jumping in so as to avoid conflict um, or somebody new coming in whatever it is whoever it is there's an energy of feeling good it's a real good like wow something is get your love life is finally taking off all right let's get into the tarot let's see what the messages are here what are the tarot messages for virgo virgo sun moon rising or venus this is amazing. Let's see. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. Six of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Wow. Reciprocity. There's definitely change. There might have been um, like a situation that felt very with the five of swords like a lot of conflict there was a lot of conflict but i feel it, the six of pentacles gives me like exchange there's an energy here of um reciprocity giving back okay um an unmanageable situation becoming even evened out fair i'm hearing fairness being fair something here hmm let me see what's this going on here wow two fives wow and the knight of pentacles uh, something some kind of situation in your life there was a lot of challenge a lot of challenges this could be a current relationship or just external or anything in your life a lot of challenges um there's somebody here who's paying you back for something that they stole whether that's actual you know money or stole your heart or um 
are you 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 were in a situation where you felt that way and I feel like there's somebody coming in here to make reparations is it an apology is it an apology well it could be um, there's appreciation loyalty responsibility somebody owes you something harmony making a sacrifice okay and you can take that however you you want to take that um, but sixes can at times represent um, kind of an energy of like, like I said, um, somebody feeling responsible for something, okay? And needing to make amends or make reparations to you. All right, let me see what else is going on here. This is crazy. I don't know how this is going to resonate for you. Okay, now we have an earth sign. So we have fire, air, water, and earth. Okay, um, there's so much pentacle energy. So this is someone who is, um, it looks like very financially stable. And um, even if it's not financially stable, it's just someone coming across who's, you know, very resourceful, grounded. It feels like a grounded energy. So, of course, we have all the signs here. Whoever your person is, they're showing up mostly um, whoever this person is, as someone who's very grounded, stable, resourceful, this is someone who dresses well, takes care of business, maybe they're a business owner or an investor of some sort. There is an energy of like, there could, there, for some, if this was a past thing, they there was a lot of breadcrumbing going on, and that's probably why if a past person is coming back in, because six like I said, can be some type of reconciliation or a payback of some sort. If this is a past person coming in, this is like trying to make amends or reparations for some type of challenge. If there was somebody wasn't nice or wasn't taking care of another person's heart, okay, or... Um, If there was like a, uh, some obstacles, overcoming some obstacles is what I feel like is going on here. As far as somebody new coming in, this does feel like um, this person, It I'm getting this message of like learned from the past, has learned from the past, okay? If it's somebody new, um, there might be some type of communication of some sort where this person you know, said that they were in a relationship with someone that was very challenging and even borderline abusive, and um, they had to make all this reparation to somebody, and, and you know, they, they just want to be happy and in a good, healthy relationship that's stable, strong. They, they realize that in order to have that, they got to be that. So this person, whoever they are, past or new, uh, is coming in like lesson learned, grounded, stable, and progressive. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Yeah, harmony, temperance. So so I feel like um, harmony and balance. That's what I was saying. The six, there's a lot of harmony here. This feels mostly like this message is reparation for uh, things that were unmanageable. Thing, obstacles, trying to give back is how I feel this person coming in this way okay let me see I, i'm gonna try not to go too deeply into past type of energy i just do feel the energy of a new relationship blossoming here um and so it could be somebody new coming in for you and and for some of you you know it depends on your situation it could be a new dynamic of a, an old relationship that's you know healing Okay, somebody I feel in the past may not have treated you well, okay, or uh, this person in general, whoever they are, there's a past energy of not, not doing right, not making things right, and wanting to come in and make things right. Let me see what else is going on with this person. Okay, I'm going to pull, okay, I'm going to pull all these cards. Okay, I just want to be friends. Can we start out as friends? I'm hearing. 
Or do you think we can try to start out as friends? Um, hmm. Do you think we could take a risk? I'm seeing things differently here is the message that I'm getting. Um, I have a new perspective on things. I'm free from a past relationship. I'm free from, uh, I'm free to, to move around now. I was, uh, I feel like there's someone's energy here. They were very stuck in something. Okay. Very stuck. Okay. They've broken that down. Okay. They're independent and, uh, this person's coming across as single and, um, just like free. I'm just feeling a freeness. This King of Swords. There's a lot of communication here and bringing clarity. Um, wanting, uh, having a new perspective, wanting to be friends or to see if something can blossom here is how I feel. Now, I want to pull some clarifying cards. What is this Tower card here? Okay, I feel like somebody's ego is broken down. Um, the Crown Chakra just blown right off and the light's gotten in and they've been re-energized with the tower and somebody here is just you know boom having like a, a tremendous like ego like hit to the hit to the ego here show me this show me this tower card whoop lights out okay gift wow so this feels like this person views you as a gift to them you are a true gem this is how i feel definitely that you are a true gem, you are a gift to this person. That this might be like a wake up, like a realization with that tower, you know, like a total upheaval, like, oh my God, why didn't I see this before? That's what I feel like this energy, uh, maybe it's just a lack of appreciation in past relationships in general, even if you don't know them. And they're coming through here with this, you know, I wanna take this risk, I'm gonna take this leap of faith and have this real good love, like I'm ready. I'm hearing I'm ready. This person is ready, Virgo. Ready, Freddy. Let me see the full card here. Taking a risk. Okay, we've got death. Death to the ego, starting over. 100% after death, you know? Uh, this, this person may have lost a child or somebody may have lost a child. This is um, starting all over again. I was talking about the death card earlier where there's transition happening here. Um, endings and new beginnings coming, big changes, rebirth, transformation, starting all over from the very, st from the very, very beginning, the O. <clears throat> Wise, wising up. Somebody's wising up. Dad bod, totally a dad bod. Somebody's got a dad bod. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Show me the hangman. New perspective. New perspective and change. Sacrifice. Friend. Yep, there you go. I feel like this, per there's, this is a relationship that's going to blossom and start from friendship. Okay, there's going to be what feels like... Um, starting from the ground up and working uh, creating cultivating a relationship from friendship into something it just feels like the slate wiping the slate clean and having a brand new start and a brand new beginning but you virgo like i was saying i feel like you're not going to say anything about whatever's occurring here you know loose lips sink ships and i feel like you don't want to risk losing something okay so is this another go around for some of you it could be um is this somebody new coming into your life it could be we have to wait and see how that plays out i'm trying to fix my big eight ball here and it's kind of crazy but it's like doesn't want to wants to roll in a particular direction just stay where you are already okay um let me check the romance angels have to know because I I just really feel like somebody's somebody's just having a, a tremendous like wake-up call when it comes to relationships and love here and for you you're just like not you're you're the one wearing the mask here 
because you're not going to reveal everything right away. You're taking your time. Let me see. What is the romance angels telling you? What are the romance angels messages for Virgo? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So taking it very slow here. Like I said, starting off as friends. This could be a friend that you already have where there's romance blossoming here with someone. And this is like going slow. Starting out as friends. Building a foundation of trust. Blossoms into love. This is not a crush. This is not like somebody that you... <clears throat> you're I feel like even if it feels that way you're just gonna keep that tempered with temperance you're gonna keep that tempered and try to build something strong like a strong foundation here I feel like two people are gonna try and do that but you know if this is somebody that you were in some kind of a relationship romantic partnership in the past I feel like that didn't work and it's just like friendship right now starting from scratch and giving learning to be friends with each other with a past person and if it goes in the direction of romance then there's maybe another shot at that yes if it doesn't that's okay because you're cultivating at least friendship and for somebody new coming in here it's the same kind of energy where you're friends or you become friends like you already are or you become friends and then it, it just goes from there it just grows from there all right, let me see what else you have here. Okay, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So feels like, Virgo, you're you're not going too deep with anything. You're just keeping it real simple, and you're flirty, and you're being friendly, and you're, you know, you're just keeping it lighthearted with, especially with this person. It's just, it's sweet. It feels like, it feels very sweet, and it's, man, the pressure's off. It feels like the pressure is off. There's no pressure here to force anything or to make anything happen here. Okay, letting your friends help you. Now we have friends again. Okay, ask for and accept support from others. So this could be an energy like you may not say anything, like not make an official announcement that something's happening. I, I'm just hearing the word don't want to, this phrase don't want to jinx it. So you may not be trying to, um, or you may not try to let the whole world know, but your true trusted confidants or people that, you know, um, you have to spill it a little bit and try to... Um, get a little bit of guidance about it especially if this is a past person and something is blossoming again with you guys um you might have a couple of people that you'll talk to and just kind of like you know hey what do you think you know or just try to you know whoever you talk to whoever you trust okay ask for a little um support you know um your friends might even come in or your trusted people and try to give you support through this situation okay um sorry for the blur i, I think it's because it's dark it does that but let me try to go on to the next set of messages here for you virgos you guys are so awesome i mean you so deserve this this really feels like friendship turns to love is how I feel. All right, let me get a couple of more messages here for you. Let's see what's going. Whoa, they just material wishes being granted. Interesting. So you're definitely going to be getting something that um, of a material, uh, something physical that you have been wanting. Um, it could be symbolic of love, so it could be a gift, like I said. I feel like there could be somebody here, because I said the word gift, somebody could decide to give you, um, oh my God, they just said a crown, or you, they give you your, your queen or your king's crown, okay? <laughs> could be, um, it's a, it could be, so it's like a tangible item, okay? A gift of some sort tangible item or a gift i feel like you're you're getting even if you didn't well it, it is a wish being granted so it's something that you've been wanting i feel like this person's going to give it to you um for some it could be a ring you know for those who you know um yeah i mean hey if you're a male 
the female can give you um, a ring as well. It could be like a friendship ring or um, it's symbolic though. This is what you need to know. It's symbolic of love. It's symbolic of like, it means something. Let me see what else is coming in here. Okay. Wow. Money in the bank. <laughs> Money shot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have to stop. Money in the bank, okay? So, hey, hey, you know, who can argue with that, right? That That's good for you, Virgos, right? Um, if somebody could put money in your bank account, hey, maybe. Is it this person? Maybe. Um, you might just feel like, wow, I hit the jackpot, you know? Security. There is a feeling of security. Let me see what else is going on here. Yeah, a lot of money and materialistic things going on here. Okay, manifestation. Lay all your cards on the table. Fear not. Use every tool in your arsenal. Create and manifest this journey as it is below, above and below. So be on earth. So you're, you've manifested this. I don't necessarily feel like you've manifested a person, but in some way, shape, or form, um, I do feel like you've manifested a love, uh, something that you've wanted or you've been wanting or hoping for. Like I feel like you've been setting your intentions. Maybe you created your vision board over the weekend. Um, when it says lay all your cards on the table, that pretty much means like take a risk. This means be transparent. And I feel like even though you're going to keep some secrets and keep some things hidden about what's going on about a new uh, relationship that's blooming, I feel like with this person, um, I don't feel like the message is to keep secrets from them. I feel like the message with this person is to just take it slow so that you don't burn out and the whole thing just burns up and dissipates. Um, I feel like lay your cards on the table with this person as far as the beginning message was you need to, um, actually I didn't know that message, but be meticulous and patient. And I feel like, you know, some of you might actually be getting uh, some kind of offer to move in with somebody or, um, relocate or live somewhere okay so I feel like you know be transparent with your person in other words like set your intentions be intentional with whoever this person is you don't have to tell them your or like your entire life story or you know it, I don't know if you need to rehash the past right away I think what needs to happen is a firm foundation and a structure of friendship um, I just wrote on my Twitter today and I'm gonna tell you what I wrote and, and go over and join me on Twitter because I make I, I put the I put some pretty cool um, quotes and stuff but I'm gonna hold on a minute I'm gonna tell you what I said because I can't remember it verbatim but um, all right so and I think that this is key that you should know this um, whether you agree or not without compatibility chemistry it's just toxic matter created in a hellfire beaker, right? And what that means is that people can, people have, people can, have, all kinds of people have chemistry with each other. Not every single person, but you, there's chemistry somewhere with someone. But if you're not compatible with each other, the chemistry just, what happens when you put two different chemicals that, you know, um, that gel? in a sense where like they're similar, but they're not compatible. You put them in a beaker and then they just blow up, you know? Um, compatibility is a crucial element in chemistry, you know, or else you're just gonna have like fires everywhere <clears throat> or explosions. So no matter how much chemistry you might have with someone, the, the real question is, okay, we get it. We fit, we match, we have good conversation, we do this, we like the same things, we do the same things, you know, like all of that is there. But what are the obstacles that keep us from being compatible with each other? In other words, like, you know, do we have religious differences? Um, are there different sides of the world? You know, is one person a workaholic and the other just doesn't work at all? Like, you know, uh, are we compatible in that, you know, we fit together just because we understand, sorry, lights off, just because we understand each other does not mean we're compatible with one another. Um, it could very well just be the same as like, you could have chemistry with, you know, the, the male person 
and or or um, a firefighter or a police person or someone you know any like regular everyday person that you always see um but you may not be compatible because that person might be in another relationship or they could be married you know um that's kind of like that's the compatibility you have great chemistry with them but are you compatible so that's quite something i feel like you guys have to look at and if you're going to come together and build on a friendship it's really important to try to get to know each other not not just <clears throat> excuse me not just the chemistry but well can this even work and that's this is the discovery phase that's what i feel like is going on here a discovery phase and i love it i love it you're definitely going to get an opportunity in the month of may to explore something here with someone but I feel like you're not gonna try to jinx it. <laughs> you're gonna just be like, okay, let me go slow, let me take my time, let me not jump into something before getting to really know somebody. Because it takes a really long time to get to know somebody. A year is just, yeah, a year, I mean, people's true colors, people mask for quite some time. <clears throat> you know, they want everybody wants to put their best foot forward. A lot of people embellish you know, everybody does it. Embellish, make their seats better than they are, or, you know, whatever. And um, unfortunately, sometimes uh, after some time, like people just can't keep the mask on forever. And the question is, when the mask falls off, are you able to see the person for they are, who they truly are? Um, you wanna be transparent with whomever you're with, you know? It's really important, and you need that person to be that way as well. Um, to not embellish and not pretend that there's something that they're not. Um, because how can a, 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 a strong foundation of trust be built if you find out years later this person was just trying to impress you and trying to keep the mask on? Um, yeah, you might finally see who they are, but then you might be resentful because they've been lying. You know, so relationships are so complex, aren't they? Let's see what else you have. Highly logical male. Okay, that's a king of swords twice. So for some of you, it's definitely um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay definitely um they could have that in their chart somewhere so just so you know could be a rising could be in their moon their venus could be their zodiac sun sign um but this is also a message for you to be logical yourself make a logical decision before you make an emotional one with someone that you don't really know or that you're getting to know all right because you want to try it you're in discovery phase you want to try to find out even if you find out you have chemistry in which i do feel there is chemistry yeah, that's going to show up but now it's like are we compatible and that's what you're go that's the exploration that you are going on here i love it may looks like you know the word blossom showing up here for the month of may you know beautiful energy beautiful energy new beginnings okay let me see hold on i just saw a card let's take a look and see what um, possible chinese sign either you or this person and you will know it will resonate for you who this could be okay so year of the ox somebody born year of the ox year of the rat okay we have a horse okay year of the pig okay ox again so we have double ox we have year of the goat and double horse so we have maybe two horses okay year of the tiger we have year of the dragon hello dragon and year of the rooster okay um so if it's not you it could be the other person if it's neither one of you don't worry it doesn't mean it's not your message all right let's get into <clears throat> What do I want to do let's take a look and see what other messages oh let's get a little a couple of numerology messages here for you what numerology messages are there for you here okay 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 nothing is yet set in stone why do I feel like you just got that okay nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon um, mutable mutability is Virgo Virgo you are a mutable sign which means 
uh, changeable, adaptable. So you're not making any firm decisions in May about a relationship that's coming towards you. Okay, um, you're not you're not carving anybody's name into a tree. You're not getting their name tattooed on your arm. You're not securing anything just yet. You're not committing to anything just yet, and that's fine because that would be kind of crazy if you did that with someone where either they don't come back in with bloody stumps, <laughs> you need to see it, or, you know, it, they're a shit stain and they're just kind of coming in with just, you know, they got to have you because you don't want them. Okay, nope, don't give in to anything here, Virgo. What else? Take your time. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Okay, you might have Aries moon somewhere, but this is, <laughs> gosh, that's what I'm saying, Virgo. With this fire card here, listen, this fire card, reckless actions lead to conflict. This thing could blow up in your face. You got to play it cool, Virgo. You, that's your nature, Virgo. Your nature, believe it or not, unless you have other signs afflicting your chart or it's one of your, your Chinese signs, whatever it might be, Virgos generally play it cool. They're very reserved and they tend to, they're very thoughtful by nature, okay? And embrace that energy, embrace that aspect of your zodiac sign, um, wherever it is. Virgos have a tendency to play it cool. Um, Virgo doesn't typically let their reckless actions cause conflict. Virgo's a thinker, but there's a lot of passion that's going to spark up here in this connection. And you gotta be very careful, okay? Um, because it'll just burn so hot, it'll burn out super fast. You want a slow burn, slow burn. I see. Well, maybe you're involved with it. Maybe this is for an Aries you could be connecting with. Okay, it's a time for healing. Okay, so for some of you, this is a past connection where you're healing a relationship and becoming friends or... Um, using friendship as a springboard to try to fix the connection, try to make the relationship better. Um, no demands, no expectations, okay? It's all about the healing. Some of you might have put the cart before the horse with someone and let your imaginations get the best of you or your expectations and maybe it's really just, it's not even just friendship for some of you, it's just civility um, and trying to have a new start with somebody else okay let me see what other messages there are here for you okay the end of challenging times things are looking up six of swords energy a welcome relief finding your way to a peaceful place the end of depression or an illness and there is possible travel or location coming up for you um, it could be related to this person or just could be you and your child or family members or a friend and just going somewhere and get a little r and r during the month of may okay knight of pentacles loyal dedicated protective apprehensive virgo it says plan carefully before taking action but then get going pay attention to the details virgo meticulousness remember that's what i said in the beginning with the spider i'm going to show it to you again be meticulous and patient, Virgo. Okay? This is a very strong message here for you, and now it's come up twice. Careful planning. You're good at that. Okay? Taking your time. Look at This person is like looking at a map, trying to figure out, you know, which direction do I want to go? Where can I go? What is the best route? What is, what is the fastest but most efficient? Right? taking time before getting on that horse and trying to figure out which direction do you want things to go here because you ultimately have agency you can make that decision for yourself you don't have to let somebody dictate to you which direction something should go you have agency and the ability to say no i'm not going left you want me to go left i'm going right because this is better for me okay what else <laughs> and then you have the Knight of Swords. Decisive, focused, driven, and defensive. Events that move with great speed. Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. That's what I said earlier, Virgo. With this situation, make intellectual decisions, not emotional decisions. 
My light doesn't like me today. Sorry. Make intellectual decisions, not emotional ones. Because it's the emotional decisions, Virgo, that will get you in trouble every time. Okay? Sudden or unexpected changes are coming. The winds of change, and I think we just talked about that. Here it is. Okay, emotions at their peak. You got to be careful, right? Your emotions will be at your peak once this message or this thing comes in with this person. Okay, you want to just keep them tempered, right? Winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo transition. Okay, things are changing in your life profoundly in May. Okay, um, review your options carefully. What path? Look at your map. <laughs> Figure out which way you want to go or how you want to handle a situation or what's the best, you know, I'm not going to keep repeating myself but because I keep repeating myself. All right, you've got the King of Cups. Someone coming in here. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious. Someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe. A solid romantic relationship. Hidden but well-intentioned emotions. A charitable benefactor. Maybe even a counselor. Okay? Seeing a counselor it could be a decision that could be seeking support from your friends. Maybe it's a counselor who's going to help you with a situation that's coming in. All right, you guys, let's get into the ever elusive. Let me clean up this, this card situation. <laughs> I don't know whatever word this mosaic, this card mosaic that we have going on here. Um, again, please do hit subscribe. Um, if you enjoy this reading, also give that like button a smash too, because that really does push my videos out, which is great. If you know anyone that needs to hear this, definitely think about sharing it with them. Um, and don't forget about my new deck that I have just recently uh, com uh, created on my website, moonpytarot.com. Go over there and check that out if you like to purchase decks. If you're like me and you are obsessed with either making, creating, or buying Oracle Tarot decks. <laughs> this one actually is not that. It's just a fun eight ball tarot deck, eight ball game uh, in deck form. And I do have a video. I think the video probably played on the trailer right before this. So yeah, definitely check that out. All right, we're going to take a look at birth dates, numbers significant symbols numbers and zodiac signs all right let's see give me a second here i need to get my i need to get my pad here so i don't kill your ears all right give me a sec give me a sec hope you're all doing well oh we had a little kitty fly out here Somebody's a Leo. Do we have a Leo in the house? Or do we have a Leo that you're connecting with, maybe? All right, let's get started. I got a lot of stuff in my hands here. And we're going to do it all at once. Hello, everyone in the chat. Hello to the mods. A shout out to the mods <clears throat> for all their help. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody's born in 1980. All right. We have an Aquarius. We have a Taurus. Okay. And a Sagittarius. Taurus is here twice. Somebody's born in 1980. We have the 18th. We have the 6th. We have the 1st. Okay. So, hmm. somebody's born in 1966, somebody's 51, um, and I'm hearing 18 years. Something went on for 18 years. We have the 23rd, somebody's 39, uh, or 31, okay. 2019 was significant definitely for somebody 2019 was very significant time period uh, somebody 61 
Okay. Let's see what else we have here. I generally do these like three times. I feel like I need to get a cup. Of course, I made all that noise. All right, we've got a Gemini. Capricorn, Sagittarius here again. We've got Scorpio. Somebody's born in 1970, 1984, 1987. Somebody is 31. Okay. Um, hmm. Again with that. Oh, somebody was just at 7-Eleven. Was somebody just at 7-Eleven? Or you're at 7-Eleven? <laughs> um, okay, we have the 12th. The seventh, the eighth, the first, the third, and the tenth. Okay. Um, 310-103-013-031. Resonate for somebody. I'm seeing the year 1977. I'm also seeing um, the number uh, 11. Okay. Um, somebody born in 69. And I'm also picking up cancer energy here. Um, somebody's birthday was April 19, April 1970. I was born April 1970. Um, August 12th birthday. We have March 7th. We have October 3rd. Um, and I'm also hearing March 2011 was a significant time period. see what else we have somebody could be 70 years old and if you are 70 years old and you're here listening to my messages I just want to give you a big shout out and say hello and just you're awesome all right Sagittarius yet again we have Leo Gemini is here again Capricorn yet again okay um okay so birth dates we have December 18th, the 4th, we have April 7th, a lot of Aries energy showing up, somebody's 59, um, December 1990, significant time period, also 2006, um, okay, we have May 9th, um, hmm, okay, Somebody is turning 47 this year, okay? Um, okay, somebody is 43. Um, all right, did I do that three times or was that two times? No, I can't remember, I think that was three times. I'm also picking up um, another Virgo. All right, let me get a couple of charms here for you guys. Could be involved with another Virgo. All right, we got a whole bunch. Whole bunch. Okay. So, all right, so we definitely have the infinity symbol here. So somebody, uh, you have an infinity symbol somewhere around you or on you. Okay. Um, we also have this cute little... It looks like a Finch. Maybe somebody's last name is Finch, I'm hearing. Um, also, somebody's on Twitter a lot, of course. Um, hmm. I'm hearing the name Victor. Victor. Somebody's name is Victor. Okay. Um, hmm. Now, this horseshoe, I don't know, cause somebody puts like something to do with horseshoes but i'm hearing somebody's going to get lucky in may somebody's getting very lucky there could be also um a baby shower somebody's giving um a, it's a there's a girl i'm just seeing a girl actually okay first okay they gave me two messages i'm also hearing if there's somebody's having twins it's girl and boy twins okay um hmm
I'm also there. I'm picking up the energy of like um, they're telling me um, crystal blue diamond. I don't even know what that means or what that is. It, it, they're saying a crystal blue diamond. Is that even a thing? Um, crystal blue. Crystal blue diamond. Um, it's a there's a crystal. So they're giving me an image a crystal blue diamond on a like a black onyx kind of ring or something or crystal blue with black onyx not exactly sure or I guess whatever I guess whatever a, a, what's the gem that's black like a black gem I'm not exactly sure <laughs> what they're all called I'm not a gemologist gemologist I don't really know um, the gem names the crystals I'm sure maybe you can leave a comment or something or tell me what it is I thought onyx was one of them I thought there was some black tourlamine or something I'm picking up also we have a butterfly so there was a uh, dragonfly energy uh, butterfly energy there this is this is like spring this isn't this is a very fast there could be somebody that you this person that you meet or that you were connected with before very hyper a hyper energy or maybe that's you I'm just picking up hyperactivity okay so that it could be somebody that you connect with or that you know there's just a lot of like flustery blood like fluster flitting about flustery energy with someone here it's very interesting <laughs> but you know what um i think i was gonna pull i am gonna do this real quick for you because i um I didn't purposely leave these cards out, but I think that before I end the reading, I just want to give you a couple of more um, cards here. And hold on a sec. My table, I, I have so many cards of decks that I am absolutely running out of room. I really need to, I need to fix that. All right, let me just see. I want to give you a couple of more messages here. I don't usually do this at the end, but I'm just being called to give these here. Let's see what are the other okay longing someone is secretly longing for you Virgo oh my goodness well that energy is going to be playing out somebody desperately it's like their eyes glass gloss over in the back of their head like a shark biting into a bloody stump <laughs> longing somebody is longing and yearning secretly in secret for you goodness gracious warning don't dismiss these red flags. Okay, I don't know if this is related to this person that we've been talking about, or this could be somebody else, um, or this could be, oh, that's what they just said, Virgo. This is your energy, and I feel like that's what the message was in the very beginning of your reading. The fire card with um, reckless action leading to conflict, passion. Okay, I feel like those are the red flags that you need to see in yourself. If you're getting ahead of yourself instead of slowing your roll, um, that's a big red flag within yourself that you have to pay attention to. If you have a habit of getting out of your Virgo energy and making emotional decisions rather than intellectual ones, then um, the big red flag is that's how you get into trouble, choosing the wrong partners because you are um, secretly crushing or longing for someone that you can't think straight to know if they're even good for you. All right, wait, another message and then we're going to end it. Soulmate, okay. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So yeah, this is the soulmate energy that's coming in here, which is beautiful because in my readings, the two of cups is always a soulmate for me. And I feel like that's where the good, healthy relationships can happen. Even if there's a change in a past relationship and two people learn to become friends and start over and rebuild, beautiful. Or as I was saying before, friendship energy coming in here where you can cultivate love create it together based on a firm foundation of understanding acceptance friendship unconditional love 
okay? Having that between both of you. So amazing reading for May from the time you're listening to this reading and going into May. I'm going to leave this here for you guys. Um, don't forget to join in on my podcast Wednesday evening. We are going to be discussing the Amber Heard Johnny Depp saga, and there will also be a uh, tarot reading included in that podcast for us to watch together. Um, I just want you to know before you pop in there, and I will make this clear when I start the podcast, I have no opinion. Uh, I'm not siding. I'm not going to give you my opinion is what I'm trying to say. I do personally, of course, have an opinion, but I'm not going to give you my opinion on, you know, or, or side with either one. This is more along the lines about uh, just bringing the messages, what messages I get about the karmic relationship that they've had. If you're interested in the trial or anything like that, definitely join in. It'll be just interesting to talk about. You know, um, again, like I said, I'm just going to be giving the messages that I receive. So I'm not, I have no intention of influencing anyone here. It's just straight out what I, what I, what comes up. And there are some predictions I'm going to make. Um, about how things could turn out. Um, I talk about why they, wh what led each one of them individually to um, their background history and what brought them to where they wound up together and then why they repelled and, and everything. So it's very interesting. Check it out if you want to join in. It's this Wednesday, um, the 27th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It'll be a live chat. So definitely come on in there and hang out with me. And I will see you guys. I will see you all there. And I will also see you tomorrow for your next reading. All right. Love you. Bye.